Um, Dill, I must just say this, Dill, if you ever see this, okay, in a minute now, mate, you're going to see, then, I mean, I'm sure you've forgotten all this, aren't you? I would hope so, this is Emily's third birthday here, so this is February 2017, okay? Um, the reason you're looking like that, Dill, and then you sort of go off, um, is because, so Emily had X amount of presents, and even though it's not your birthday, but you know how I did these things, so you always had two birthdays, you have one and a half birthdays. So you had your own set of presents, but you'd already opened your small ones. Um, I'm saying you're only four years old, you know, you're kind of looking there go, well, why's Emily got so many, you know? What do birthdays mean to four-year-olds, really, you know? And um, so then you went upstairs. <laughs> It's not on here because it films, is then you came down in the afternoon and you had your big race car set that I bought you. Actually, I think there might be some film of it, or at least of you playing with it as well, you know. So I'm hoping you'll see this footage one day, but I don't want you to look at it and go, well, I was a bit truculent that day. I can see it's Henry's birthday, you know. So, so, uh, what's going to happen there? It's kind of thrown my mood, I know. <laughs> Can I still get back into the angry young man who wants to sing? Now you reckon, open paranoia? Survived the last song, did they? Let's take that one down a bit. So now you've closed your good night eyes and Whispered your instructions, you let your lovers taste the cake, then plotted their destruction while in the town that you call home. Your parents own a hobble, and you drive by in your limousine, and you smile to see them grovel. And baby says you gotta break with some guy who'll take a photo, but he doesn't have a studio. He says, why don't you meet me at a motel? She needs to be a scusser bag. She'll tell you it's her destiny. So she does some favors for the boys and says, maybe they'll invest in me. And all the guys smell all the same. So she learns to turn her nose off. And all their promises smell the same. Soon as she takes her clothes off, when the apple's shut, because her runway froze or so, the TV said, Oh, and Johnny, you no know, one just jumped off the roof with a Bible on his head. His mama swears that she's in shock. The pappy's so distressed. And then they're on the late late show. And the checks are signed. The press. They never would have amounted to much. Nobody would have heard their story. So they take the fame while it's there. But Johnny lost the glory. And the preacher had a dream last night. For an angel gave salvation. They meet together at the docks. And then firebomb the station. For 20 years they kept the faith, now damn the consequences. Let's leave it on to waste. Forget the pretenses of the candidate. He's coming to call in. While his young wife's at the surgeon. Well, see you got a little good on prime time, man. When you shout, let's bomb some turbans. His skeletons are all piatrain. Before they leave that closet, you sleep with his new engine tonight. And I'm say, who was it? And the magazines both perfect waste. The girls were eating problems who choked to death on diet pills. And the company says, one of them. And the banks all get a crushing store for their high executive of mothers who close down the nursery school next door as one off for the others. The 
chemical firms keep pumping junk into every stream and river while the tax goes on the heating bills so the poor and needy shiver while in their luxury offices the right-wing bigots ponder we like to give the black chick the job but we think that it's beyond her and who needs playgrounds anyway what's in it for us then let's shut down the daycare center the old won't make a fuss conscience is in a plan no more you traded it in for the luxury life to get you that mansion by the way and the right connection wife when did you last call up home i wonder where your friends are or did something good for anyone without asking what the ends are the world outside is getting dim the light is turning gray and the razor blade you want to win and strip your feet away There's clouds above the hunting ground, there's thunder in the lowlands, there's storm warnings on the radio, and power in the wrong hands, every other noise you hear, it's a beatbox or a siren, the commandment says thou shalt not kill, and you say tell me why then, and Jenny, she still gets those dreams each time she shuts her eyes. She can't forget what stepdaddy did, no matter how she tries. The mommy didn't want to know. She just said she was lying. Now stepdaddy's at the door again, and he loves it when she's crying. Someone's knocking at the door. Let's pretend that we're not home. It's not that I'm paranoid, but please leave me alone. I know you'll only smile at me, pounce and do your worst. I know you'll want to kill me, so I just have to kill you. Says friendship. Based on which I still have. Over well, there. I won't try and put it on because it'll snap. I got one of the other ones here. Goodness me, it's a bit on the dusty side. I don't think this is the same one. Move on. No. no. Daddy throws nothing away. Especially memories. 
Okay, how much? T- I was going to say tape. It's not tape. Pixels or whatever these days. Okay, we got uh, nine minutes left on you and no minutes at all left on you, I don't think. <laughs>
Merry Christmas.